rhythm is a dancer, Anthony Alanga. I'm so surprised that I'm coming into this with a big smile on my face, but it's just because of that kid right there who came on and made himself a bit of a hero in Madrid. I'm going to say a bit of a hero because it's one all in the round of 16. But Jesus, we got destroyed for 95% of that game. There's so many negative talking points that we, I suppose, need to run through in this match reaction. But this guy came on undroppable right now. He has to start. Marcus Rashford, wow, you were bad in that game. Bruno Fernandes, wow, you were bad in that game. But you came up with the assist. So I suppose we can overlook some of it. But it doesn't really matter. We're talking about Anthony Alanga. The guy, the man of the moment, he came off the bench and he scored against Leeds. All season long, he's represented a different sort of attitude and a different sort of approach that so many of these players inside this squad who have more ability don't seem to be able to do. Anthony Alanga came up there with the goods. What a finish, by the way. So composed into the bottom corner. Jan Oblak had no chance. Oh, my heart. That game, we were absolutely stinking. We reeked for like 95% of it. Ralph Ragnick, out of the, out of the, out of the, I have no idea where he pulled it from. Lindelof at right back. Fred playing as a sole defensive midfielder. Both of them horrendously exposed the entire game in positions where they're not very good at. I've never seen Lindelof play at right back. Lodi, I think, was it Lodi, the name of their left back? He was ridiculously good the whole game. A fantastic cross. Fantastic header. No doubt we'll have Joao Jou, Felix. Felix. He was man of the match overall. But what the hell were United doing in those first 10, 15? Sod that for the first 75 minutes, really. No. Uh, where, was the, where was the approach in the game? Oh, we're surprised that Atletico Madrid came out aggressive. It's like the least surprising thing in the entire world. That's how Atletico Madrid play. Every single ball, they were two yards closer to it than every single United player was. But we, it seemed like we were getting swallowed up by the atmosphere. Like every player was getting magnetically pulled into this black hole. We didn't know what to do. Every pass seemed difficult. Every single pass seemed almost impossible. No attacking threat whatsoever. Anytime Fred, Bruno or Pogba had the ball in the middle, they were surrounded by three or four Atletico players. But no United player seemed to like make themselves available for the space. Pass me the ball. I want the ball. I'm not sure any United player in that first half wanted the ball. It was a totally abysmal first half of football. I, I really struggled to get any sort of positive from that. And the way it was going, it was going to be 2-3-0 Atletico Madrid, Champions League tie done. As the, as the game progressed in that second half, Atletico Madrid, they sort of, they do what Atletico Madrid do, right? Atletico Madrid that we know of old, they sit there on their 1-0 lead, they go deep and they hold on to it and they don't concede. But today... <laughs> Anthony Alanga, man. Wow. I'm so happy for the kid, man. What a breakthrough season he is having. Uh, Ilanga is impressed. It's done nothing but impress every single time he has played, whether it's Brentford away, whether it's Leeds away, whether it's here, Atletico Madrid in the Wanda Metropolitano in the round of 16 in the Champions League on a night where so many of us, me included, we wanted Cristiano Ronaldo to come to the fore. Instead, I think he's 19. I think he's 19. Right? Sorry, it's Anthony Alanga. It doesn't really matter what his age is. But it's just the attitude. It's how he plays. He was chasing every ball. And with him on the pitch, we felt like a different team. Rashford and Sancho dropping deeper for the ball. Ronaldo dropping deeper from the ball. It didn't give us any outlet. We didn't have anywhere to kick the ball to. Anytime Lindelof looked up or, or Varane looked up, Varane broke the line, throughout, broke out defence like three times. And he ended up turning back every single time because there was no pass on. Now, fair play to Atletico for playing as disciplined as they did in the shape that they did. There's no doubt that Condobbia, what did he get? He got a 7.5. I thought he was probably better than that. Condobbia made Pogba look like an amateur today. Pogba, he was squeezed out of the game. Pogba never had any time on the ball. I, you could really slam his performance if you want. You could really slam everybody's performances. But what happened in that first half was was an attitude thing. Nobody came ready for a fight. Nobody came ready for a scrap in that first half. Nobody came ready for a Champions League knockout tie away at Atletico. What do you expect? You know exactly what it's going to be like. But it almost seems like the players were like, oh, I didn't, I didn't expect this. Yeah, you fucking did. Yes, you did. Everybody knew it was going to happen. But as the game progressed, as I said, 
Atletico allowed United to get a bit of a foothold in that game. And it, and it still didn't look like we were going to do anything. Rashford, I remember that, that fizzing pass from Pogba that went into Rashford, Bruno's chest, hit his chest and hit his knee. On the left-hand side, Rashford had an opportunity, fumbled his touch. Rashford tonight, absolutely woeful. Rashford should not be starting that second leg. Ilanga has to be the first name on that team sheet. Right now, we're looking at Manchester United starting front three, no doubt of Elanga on the left, of Sancho on the right, and of Ronaldo up front. Even if Ronaldo again had a game that passed him by, I would say it's a game where we gave him, we were starved of service. When Ronaldo is dropping deep and he's on the halfway line, you're not doing things right. He's 37, man. He's not going to be that guy anymore. He's going to be the guy that gets on the end of the cross when you fire it in. He's going to be the guy that gets on the end of the passing move when you do it. We didn't do any of that. So Ronaldo, of course, he's going to try and drop deeper to try and make things happen, and he couldn't make things happen. Who else have we got to talk about here? Maguire, blah, blah, the sound effects. I don't know what else to say about Maguire. It just, it just makes me shit myself. I didn't actually shit myself, but I was close to it. It's it just every time you get the ball, you're like, please don't. You like you you put your hands behind your face and you go, just please don't. And sometimes he does. Was he at fault for the goal? Why Felix was was just on the on point. He made the run in front of him. Maguire should have known he was there. Poor defending from Maguire. Poor defending from everybody overall. But for United to come away from that game, that was going to be, I tell you what, a very, very different match reaction if Elanga didn't pop up with that goal. It really, really was going to be an incredibly different match reaction and one filled with venom, I think. One filled with real, real vociferous anger towards those players and the, and the attitude, the stinking attitude that they showed in that first, eight, about 80% of that game, if not more, 85% of the game, we were just trash. Absolutely trash. Bruno Fernandes losing possession left, right and centre, throwing his hands up in frustration. Oh, why are you not giving me it? So, no one's going to give you anything. Go and get it yourself. And none of the players did that. But I, I, this guy, man, he changed it. He. And this is this is why I um I sort of defend Scott McTominay probably a bit more than most United fans would. It's because I see a bit of an attitude and I see a bit of an application from that. I just do not see from all these world-class players... Pogba and Bruno and, and and Sancho even tonight. Everybody just, were they were a yard short. I think they were swallowed up by the atmosphere of it all. And I tell you what, the fact that and, and so many people were like, Ragnick uh, bringing on Tellez, bringing on uh, Wan-Bissaka and bringing on Matic. Oh, that's him throwing the game. Oh my God, why is he not bringing on all the attackers and we can, because people, he doesn't fucking trust this team. At that point, that is an indication from the manager going, you've all been crap. And at this point in time, I would rather take a 1-0 than try and go, not, not that I, you know, I mean, he took off an anger for, on for Rashford, so he went for it. We got it, right? But it goes to show the lack of belief that, that uh, Ralph Rannick has in that squad to turn that around, that he had to bring on two fullbacks. I suppose both were, both were booked and uh, the Atletico were definitely dangerous. Say what you want, man. The talking point is all about this guy. <sighs> it really shouldn't be. Let's be completely honest. In, in, in a Champions League round of 16 fixture, we should be talking about our Ronaldo performances, our world-class players, the players that are on the big wages, the players that are there for the big moments. And they didn't turn up tonight. They did not turn up tonight. I thought I, I enjoyed Rafa Varane's performance, if I'm being completely I have all of those players, you know, those big name players, X, X, Y, Z. Rafa Varane, I enjoyed his runs out from the back. I thought he was trying to actually make something happen. But Man and I were overran. In every single part of the pitch, every single second ball, every pass that was every that sort of ball that, that sort of snuck into an empty space, it was always an Atletico Madrid player who came first to it. They're going to be furious that that ended up 1-1 because I tell you what, it is advantage Manchester United now. We're going to go into that game at Old Trafford and it's going to be a proper atmosphere. It will be. And Ronaldo will be up for it again and hopefully we can just give him a bit of goddamn service. This is the greatest goal scorer of all time. And you can speak about how he's lost, his, he's, he's lost a yard of pace. He's slow, X, Y, Z. You give Ronaldo the ball in the 18-yard box, he's probably going to score for you. So fucking do it, all right? That's what we didn't do in any way, shape, or form tonight. As I said, the atmosphere, it seemed to consume all the players. They didn't know what to do. The, the simplest of things became almost impossible. Our defense, De Gea, nerves everywhere absolutely everywhere the first goal was avoidable if we were better at clearing the ball and getting rid of the getting rid of the ball but instead we invited pressure we allowed Atletico on to us the game should have been dead and buried by the time that this guy came on but it wasn't and Bruno Fernandes popped the popped the pass through a lovely little step over uh, sort of letting the ball run in front of him in a langer man you came up with the goods and what a goal that is 
What a goal that is for Manchester United, keeping the tie completely alive. The game in three weeks at Old Trafford, I tell you what, be there or be square. That's going to be a hell of an atmosphere and a hell of a game for Manchester United. We should be out of the Champions League, really, after the, after 85% of that performance. We didn't deserve that one all, but we got the one all. And sometimes you get the results that you don't deserve. Sometimes you're on the right end of that result. Sometimes you're on the wrong end of it. Today, we're on the right end of it because of one man only. <laughs> Anthony Adlanga. Rhythm is it? I feel sorry for all the United fans that got stuck in the lock-in, but I'll tell you what, it was worth it staying late for that goal. You let me know what your match reaction is in the comments below, but I mean, there's a lot of negatives you can take out of that, but let's focus on this bloke, eh? Let's focus on the fact that this tie is completely in our hands now, going into Old Trafford in three weeks. Are you excited? Because I know I am.